Paul Ryan. Chef Paul, may I say that for the last 20 years, you have been a mainstay of the SDGs. Yes, everybody knows you, and everybody who knows you love you. That's why I'm so pleased to have this opportunity to talk about you. We were with someone who lives in Ireland. We are here now with someone who's Irish, by all by descent. And most of your family came from Wales. And you were them for me, yeah. You are a Paul a writer, actor, singer, and broadcaster. Your career began in the late 60s as a singer, <coughs> specializing in the great American songbook, Cole Porter, George Gershwin, Gerald Kern, etc. You also appeared on stage in a wide range of plays, including eclectic works by Neil Simon, Kurt Vonnegut, by Shakespeare, by George Bernard Shaw, a wide range. You had a long association with London's Unity Theatre, where you first began writing the play Mad Tom, based on the life of Thomas Paine. Your second play, Lost in Exile, which was focusing on the friendship between Scott Fitzgerald and Ernest Hemingway, was produced in London in 1995. After that, you turned to journalism, and you began writing on the arts, mainly film and photography, for a number of newspapers, including The Guardian the Sunday Times, and the Irish Times, for whom you also wrote regular book reviews, not that surprising, uh, you know now I say it, you have this dissent. Your love of photography, Paul, led you to befriend a number of major figures of the French humanist school, the Ecole Humaniste, including Robert Doineau, Henri Cartier-Bresson, and William Hollis. You have published a book on Ronis, a biography of Marlon Brando, and also never apologize on the theater director, Lindsay Anderson, on whose work you are an academic authority. So you are eclectic, as I said, universal in a way, regarding arts, and a lifelong film fan, your love of French cinema dates back to when you were 11 and saw so Claude Autolara's black comedy, Claude Roux. Over the past 25 years, you have interviewed a host of French cinema personalities, which are well known from our recipients here. Uh, personalities including Alain René, Yves Montand, Jeanne Moreau, Catherine Deneur, Philippe, Philippe Noiret, Juliette Gréco, Jean-Claude Brielli, and Claude Sautet. Some of these have been for print media, but the majority have been conducted in public at the Institut Français in London, where you have been the resident on the same for the last 20 years. And it was at the Institut's uh, Cine Lumière that you presented the Carte Blanche series of evenings with British artists introducing their favorite, their favorite French films. The artists uh, include Stephen Frears, Nicolas Roeg, Susan Ayon, Jude Law, and Peter Ostinov. Although Peter Ostinov was said, chose to introduce his own little billy butt, which ends with the words, death to the French. <laughs> <laughs> you have continued performing with regular appearances in jazz clubs and at private functions, often with a distinguished pianist and arranger, Ken Clayton. He's here. And we have you also continue to act most recently alongside Ian McDeyamid and Tom Hollander in BBC Radio 3 production of Paul Pony. Later this year, you will be seen on screen, if you don't have to listen to that, you'll see on screen in Alternative Cache's new film, Venus Mora, thus fulfilling a long held ambition to appear in the French film. So, Paul, it gives me uh, enormous pleasure present this award to the French Institute's favorite Irishman. It's an enormous pleasure to have you here on the stage. I am talking first this time, it's not you. <laughs> and so I will uh, present you the award and uh, while uh, reminding uh, and having a fond memory of all the appearances you have, how you give soul to that, how you animate, and how you are. Thank you.